is the monetary policy statement for June 2020. On the basis of an assessment of the current and evolving macroeconomic situation, Bank of Uganda has today reduced the central bank rate, CBR, by one percentage point to 7% and reduced the band on the CBR by one percentage point to plus or minus 2%. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to have adverse effects on the economy. Since April, 19, so since April 2020, Monetary Policy Committee uh, meeting, sorry, since the 2020 Monetary Policy Committee meeting, the pandemic continues to spread with wide-ranging social and economic effects. Indeed, the Bank of Uganda Composite Index of Economic Activity contracted by 4% month on month in April 2020, indicating continuous shrinkage of economic activity heading into May 2020. Also, the Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, remained below the 50% mark for the third consecutive month in May 2020. Uh, you may recall that a PMI below 50 indicates a contraction in industrial production. Although the risks So, um, I've missed one point, one, one page. Although Uganda is gradually easing lockdown measures instituted in order to maintain the spread of, of the pandemic, the adverse consequences of the global and domestic supply chain disruptions could persist through the remaining part of 2020. While the economic slowdown will be severe in the second quarter of 2020, a gradual recovery is expected to set in during the third and fourth quarters. On the whole, household expenditure, investment, exports and imports are projected to decline in this year, 2020. Accordingly, the Bank of Uganda has revised, the, has revised down its projection of economic growth to a range of 2.5 to 3.5 percent in 2020 from the April 20, 2020 forecast of three to four percent. The strength of economic recovery will depend in part on how Uganda will be able to open up for economic activity safely and in particular how effectively the public will comply with social distancing rules. The World Health Organization advocates caution going forward as the spread of the coronavirus is evolving in waves. Redemption, resumption of pre-pandemic levels of economic activity will be gradual, partly due to dampened external demand amidst the deterioration of global economic sentiment. Mm. 
although the risks to the outlook are currently extreme and tilted towards lower economic growth, economic growth is projected to recover between 4% to 5% in 2021, rising further to between 6 and 6%, 6.5% 6 in 2022. The output gap will thus remain negative over the entire forecast horizon and we close only gradually. The COVID-19 pandemic, extreme weather and volatility in the global financial markets could weigh down Uganda's balance of payments, potentially destabilizing the domestic foreign exchange market and dampening economic growth. On the positive side, the Bank of Uganda, the Bank of Uganda's decisive easing of liquidity conditions in the banking system influenced the decline of average lending rates, 17.7 percent in April 2020 from 19.9 percent in January 2020, which is, which is a good indicator that um, the banking system reacts to our easing of liquidity conditions. The forthcoming fiscal stimulus together with accommodative monetary policy might offset the negative impact of COVID-19 pandemic, might offset the negative impact which the COVID-19 pandemic has on the economy in a manner that is stronger than currently envisaged. Consistent with the slowdown of economic activity, inflation has remained subdued. The headline and core inflation declined 2.8% and 3.2% respectively in May 2020 from corresponding levels of 3.2% and 3.4% in April 2020. The public transport measures to contain the pandemic will temporarily increase transport costs in the months ahead, but the overall risks to the inflation outlook appear to be on the downside. The economic slowdown and the gradual recovery will keep inflation below the medium term target of 5% in near term, uh, that is for 12 months ahead. This will keep inflation down to 5% in this period. Moreover, external sources of inflation are likely to remain weak in the near term amid global, the global economic downturn and food crop inflation is also expected to remain contained. Risks to inflation from the shilling depreciation are expected to remain low as pass-through of the exchange rate depreciation to inflation is expected to slow 
down due to suboptimal demand. So due to subdued demand. Although the measures taken by the Bank of Uganda are yet to take full effect in mitigating the adverse impacts of the pandemic on the economy, it is necessary to ease financial conditions further since the inflation outlook remains benign. Accordingly, the Bank of Uganda has decided to further ease monetary policy by reducing the CBR by one percentage point, seven percent. The band on the CBR has also been reduced by one percentage point to plus or minus two percentage points, while the margin on the rediscount rate and the bank rate have been set at three and four percentage points on the CBR respectively. Consequently, the rediscount rate and the bank rate have been reduced to 10% and 11% respectively. Furthermore, the Bank of Uganda will maintain an adequate supply of liquidity in domestic markets to encourage lending by financial institutions to households and businesses. Also, the Bank of Uganda expects financial institutions to reduce further their lending rates commensurate with our monetary policy stance. This is the monetary policy statement of the Bank of Uganda for June 2020. I thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Governor.